Ah, at long last, the Courageous is finally taken to the skies of Erebonia. <laughs> I feel like a mother hen watching her chicks leave the nest. I'll take your word for it. Um, this may sound a bit forward of me to say, but... It sounds like you had some hurdles getting this project together. <laughs> it was no easy ride, I'll say that. I doubt it would have come together without the Prince's unwavering dedication and tireless work. He had to find the time to raise funds and oversee the entire project, in addition to all his official duties. And to add to that, he had to take care of all the arrangements necessary to get Viscount Arsade installed as its captain. I can't even imagine how busy your schedule must have been. Even from a student's perspective, it sounds brutal. Well, for this ship to have any weight as a deterrent, I needed the Viscount. Thankfully, he agreed to my request. My plan is to create a neutral third power capable of acting independently of our nation's two competing factions. You can think of the Courageous as the first physical embodiment of that ideal. A third party, huh? I feel like I'm starting to understand at least part of what it is you're trying to accomplish. The road will be a difficult one, though. True, but this is only the beginning. Seeing this ship soar through the clouds for the first time moves my heart. Just as when Class 7 was formally established, I look forward to seeing what the future holds for the Courageous. And for the brave men and women of your class. Your Highness. We live in interesting times. The political situation across the Empire seems to grow more ominous by the day. But, with any luck, making a real show out of this ship's launch will push back against the prevailing cloud. Well, that's the hope at least. Either way, you'll have your whole life to split hairs about politics. For now, give your attention to your field study. Thank you. I know you have high expectations for us, and I hope we'll be able to meet them.